The UK Office for National Statistics, ONS, reveals a big increase in consumer prices for packaged tea. The Retail Price Index, a measure of inflation published monthly by ONS, tracks the price of tea bags in 250-gram units. The overall index is 4.3% higher than last year, but down from January's 4.9% inflation rate and well below the October 2022 high of 14.2% inflation. In March, the average price of tea bags was 262 pence at $3.28 U.S., marking a new high despite the decline in inflation. Tea prices in the U.K. are now 50% higher than last year. This is the immediate result of disruptions to shipping as teas arriving from China, India, Kenya, and Sri Lanka avoid Red Sea hostilities by sailing around Africa instead of transiting the Suez Canal. The detour adds 10 to 14 days at sea. Kenya is the UK's leading trading partner, exporting tea valued at about $135 million annually. India ships about $55 million worth of tea to the UK each year. The price paid for boat tea has remained stubbornly below $3 per kilo for decades, according to the Economist Intelligence Unit's EIU May Tea Report. The current average is forecast to increase by 1.7% to $2.79 per kilo, and then weaken to $2.75 per kilo in 2025. Auction prices for bulk tea averaged $2.68 per kilo in the first quarter of 2024. Beginning in the 1980s and continuing for more than 20 years, UK grocers sold a 250-gram box of tea bags for about 100 to 150 pence. That's $1.25 to about $1.90. In 2005, retail prices began steadily rising, reaching an average of 200 pence in 2010. Average prices remained constant until the 2020 pandemic, when scarcity and unusually expensive logistics increased the average price for 250 grams to about 250 pence. That's $3 U.S., Since the beginning of the year, average prices have continued to rise, climbing 34% in the last month. EIU anticipates that globally, tea prices will continue to rise in the coming months due to concerns about the El Nino weather pattern's impact on production. This projection follows a weak 2023 when, despite a slight rise in prices in the second and fourth quarters, the full year price was still 10% lower than in 2022. Ultimately, the price paid to growers is a small fraction of the retail price paid by consumers who foot the bill for rising energy costs from transport, distribution, packaging, retail merchandising, and labor, each an inflationary link in the supply chain. Marco Forgione, with the Institute of Export and International Trade, told the UK's Daily Mail, quote, The tranquility of our tea supply and demand has been disrupted by recent upheavals, which has resulted in a surge in prices. These disruptions have rippled throughout the global supply chain, adding to price pressures, shrinkflation, and availability issues all of which put further pressure on consumers' already stretched purses and complicating businesses' supply chain. End quote. Business Insight Besides passing along higher costs, grocery brand PG Tips, which sells 80 tea bags at Sainsbury's for £2.20, or about two pence each, strategically boosted prices last year. Lipton Tea and Infusion CEO Nathalie Rose told the grocer, quote, A lot of value has been destroyed in tea. Before we started, the average tea bag price was two pence, which is ridiculous. With this money, how can we bring margin to the retailers? How can we invest and make the category grow? 
end quote. Lipton subsequently cut the number of SKUs and raised the average price of its PG Tips tea bags to about six pence each. A significant increase in Twisted Tea sales led to a surprisingly strong first quarter profit for brand owner Boston Tea Company. Fueled by higher volumes and prices, shares rose 9.7% to $315 each on April 26th. The gain was notable as hard teas now dominate the FMB, that's the flavored malt beverage segment. Boston Beer Company, which markets truly hard seltzer and Samuel Adams craft beer, predicts that the hard seltzer category will continue to decline in the low teens percentage range. Truly seltzer sold decreased depletions in each quarter last year. Twisted Tea, in contrast, showed strong growth in each quarter of 2023. Dollar sales rose 21% in the first quarter of 2024, and market share grew 1.4%. The brand, whose bright yellow label first appeared in 2001, trailed portfolio mates Sam Adams and Truly Seltzer for 20 years. Now Twisted is the U.S. FMB market leader with approximately 90% market share. Good Beer Hunting writes that Twisted Tea more than doubled its share of non-seltzer FMB sales from 10% in 2017 to nearly 23% in 2021. Household penetration is 4% in the U.S., led by fans in Texas, New York, and California. Philadelphia is the brand's top market. Twisted Tea now faces fierce competition as Arizona and Pepsi Lipton market hard versions of their classics. In January, Tilray introduced Shot Top Lit, a 9% ABV non-carbonated hard tea. This week, Jack Daniels released a hard tea in four flavors with distribution in 13 states. The whiskey brand's original hard tea, the newest in its line of country cocktails, is a black tea blend with peach, raspberry, and blackberry flavors. The 12-ounce cans contain 5% alcohol by volume. Last year, New Belgium Brewery introduced Voodoo Ranger Hard Charge Tea, and Monster is now selling Nasty Beast. In his Hop Take column in Vine Pear, David Infante quotes Boston Beer Company co-founder and chairman Jim Koch, quote, I don't see much traction from the vast majority of them, he said of his competitors. I don't see a strong number two emerging, end quote. Business Insight. It's rare for a tea to be credited for boosting stocks, but that may become more common. The global market for hard tea, estimated at $2 billion last year, will grow to almost $20 billion by 2032, according to market research firm FactMR. Marketers forecast a combined average growth rate of 24.7 to 25.3% during the coming decade. There are now 150 hard tea brands in the market, an increase of 80% since 2020, according to BevNet Magazine's June 23 issue. The number of stock-keeping units increased from 161 in 2020 to 216 in 2023, according to data shared by Bump Williams Consulting. A small-scale clinical trial revealed that Japanese subjects who consume roasted hojicha perform better on metal tasks. The findings reinforce the theory that drinking green tea boosts brain function, concluding that, quote, it is not only reasonable but also advisable to include green tea in one's diet, end quote. In their conclusion, researchers found that aromatic stimulation from tea consumed in small quantities over a short duration may also exert positive physiological and subjective effects. The research was published in the April 13th issue of the peer-reviewed journal Scientific Reports. The study compared the performance of 20 adult males who completed mental performance tasks after drinking warm water and again after drinking green tea. The subjects completed five-minute mental exercises six times during two sessions on the same day. 
In the first session, the men, aged 18 to 30, consumed hot water before completing three tasks, then rested and drank hot water before completing a fourth task. In the second session, the subjects were given a different type of tea, either green or roasted green hojita. Before completing three tasks, they rested and drank another cup of tea before completing a fourth task, ensuring a rigorous and balanced study design. One month later, the same subjects were tested again, but those who drank green tea on the first day switched to roasted tea so that every subject consumed equal amounts of green tea and hojisha during two sessions. Eleven specific physiological responses, including tissue blood volume, tissue blood flow, and near-infrared spectroscopy assessments were recorded. Participants also completed a self-evaluation describing their level of fatigue, stress, mental workload, and ease of workflow. Results suggest that drinking green tea or roasted green tea help moderate stress responses. Drinking roasted green tea also demonstrated greater anti-fatigue properties despite being lower in caffeine than green tea. The journal article highlights the role of aromatic stimulation in tea. Researchers concluded that tea intake improved metal arithmetic task performance compared to hot water. Inhaling the pyrazines in roasted green tea may also directly affect brain activity and influence mood, relaxation, and alertness. Limitations include the fact that the subjects were all males and young. The results may have also been biased by repeating the tasks over a short period of time. In follow-up studies, the researchers suggest that the tea's aroma should be evaluated without actually drinking the tea. Produced by Audavita Studios. Connect your voice to the world.